Hi everybody, it's Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such, and today I'm going to be making uh, what I call Beneficial Clay Bar Soap, and um, what this has in it is, it's got Starter's Activated Charcoal. Now that's a really good detoxifier, and um, you know, good for acne, um, can help skin problems. And then we've got here our Pascalite clay mix. Now Pascalite, I love Pascalite. You know, it's got the ability to help acne, skin rashes, boils, uh, bug bites, spider bites. It, it also detoxifies. Um, it's known to tighten the pores. And, it, and what it's really known for, really a lot, is being very, very, very healing. I can't emphasize the healing part. And then we've got here sea clay. And um, I've already mixed these in oil. The sea clay is very high in minerals. It has the ability to like um, absorb excess oil, dirt. Um, it's also known, you know, to purify the skin. Gently exfoliate the skin. Uh, could soothe the skin. It also is known for tightening and toning skin. Um, and even possibly hydrating and moisturizing the skin. So it's a wonderful one. I love it. Um, I ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> so this one and Moroccan and then like the French green, you know, they can steer towards your like going up in age. Um, and then Kaolin here is very gentle on the skin. Um, I'll, th this is the Kaolin right here. And uh, Kaolin, okay, let's see. It is one that's very gentle uh, to a mild exfoliator. Um, known to soften the skin. That's, you know, one reason a lot of soapers put it in their soap. Um, in you know their soap all the time I'll get to that in a minute though and then um, right here French green clay oh that's a good one uh, French green you know it's known for detoxifying it's foli mild exfoliation clarifying he it also can be healing pore tightening uh, so I mean it's a good one um, the Moroccan, I'm not sure if I've done done that, but uh, the Moroccan I love, Rasul clay. Uh, that one is really rich in minerals, high in minerals, just like the the sea clay. And you know, it, it helps to, it can help, I won't say it does, but from what I, my experience with it, uh, it can help like pull toxins from your skin, impurities. Um, it's gentle. It's it's one of the more gentle ones, like a kaolin clay, and, and you know it's great to use it on your hair and make a hair mask with it. Now I you know I do several different skin masks, and um, I use these in. And uh, but getting back to you know how making soap and using the kaolin clay. Whoops, there went my roses. Um, well, when I use kaolin clay in most of my soaps, main reason is not for the actual beneficial reason. If it is for the beneficial reason, then I will not put it in whenever I stick blend. Now, when I put it in and you see me use metal, my stick blender's metal, when you see me use that and I put my kaolin clay in there, that's to hold my scent. It helps to hold like a, uh, the scent of a fragrance or the scent of a uh, essential oil. Now, whenever I'm using it for its uh, ability, I won't use metal on it. I won't use metal on any of these whenever I'm using them for their ability. Now, charcoal, a lot of people use it to just color. You know, color soap because it's a beautiful black color. And... Um, you know, and it work. Any of these work good for colors, but whenever I do them 
for the beneficial purposes and for detoxifying and that's just like you know you've got uh, the bentonite clay uh, you know that clay has you know oh I don't know how to explain it but it's got like the ability to possibly even pull metal out but if you use metal in these clays while you're blending it you actually how would I want to put that you act, it, activate it basically or something of that nature um, you don't want to put metal or I don't now you may know something I don't but I, I do not want to put metal if I'm using them for the beneficial purpose so that's enough said but I want to explain why sometimes I will use kaolin clay in my soaps and use a stick blender because I'm only using it to help with my scent so I've got that clear now we're going to get ready to make soap I have a piece of uh, aloe here that I've got draining um, I've done cut the bottom off I've got it draining down in there I've got it actually got a video on how to, to um, cut your aloe if you want to check it out but um, I'm gonna let this drain a little bit and then I'm gonna slice this down uh, grind this up or mush it up if you can see it's gel and I'll be using that much in this soap and uh, I won't be adding it to my lye solution I'm gonna add it into the soap okay I've got my oils melted here and um, let's see I'm gonna give you the recipe for one I'm gonna be putting some collodial oatmeal you can put however much you think of that or you can leave it out you don't have to have it I'm gonna put a little goat's milk in there and you can put however much of that you want uh, now I have here an ounce of cream and an ounce of coconut milk. Okay, and here is my fresh aloe gel. And uh, I did use less than that big old piece that I showed. Okay, now here's our recipe. You're going to need 517 grams of water. And I did use, um, I discounted just a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, now you're going to need 168 grams of lye and you can put essential oil in this if you want to I'm not going to um, I've got one over there uh, that I did put essential oil in I put actually lemongrass and uh, listia cubia and uh, okay now you're going to need castor oil 163 grams you're going to need cocoa butter 68 grams you're going to need uh, coconut oil, 299 grams, and lard, 272 grams. You don't want to use lard. Uh, use something else, something that's kind of equivalent, maybe more cocoa butter or shea butter. Um, and we, I did use ghee in this, 27 grams. You don't want to use that one. Use something that's uh, going to make about the same difference. Um, maybe cocoa butter or shea. Olive oil, 272 grams. Palm kernel flakes, 41 grams. Palm oil, 54 grams. Stearic acid, 14 grams. Sunflower oil, 68 grams. Sweet almond oil, 20 grams. Avocado oil, 20 grams. Hemp oil, 20 grams. Shea butter, 20 grams. You don't want to use one of those. Just substitute it with something that's similar. Okay, and I did run my recipe through the lye calculator, the soap calc, and uh, that's 41 hard, 17 clean, 54 conditioning, bubbly 28, creamy 34, iodine was 59, and INS is 152. And I think I've covered it all now. I'm using, like I said, I'm using... Um, I am using French green clay, I am using the uh, sea clay, I am using Pascalite clay, kaolin clay, activated charcoal, and Moroccan or Rasul clay. So you can use whichever or whatever you want to, to make it your own. But uh, this is a real nourishing recipe. So very good for the skin, got a lot of good stuff. So we'll get to making it. I've got to get my lye solution. Okay, I'm going to add my lye solution.
Okay, now I'm going to um, put this into my containers and mix up my clays with my um, sticks or chopsticks. You can use wood, you can use plastic, or you can use um, glass. But I will not use metal at this point on them because I am using them for the beneficial value. I'll bring you back.